Do you need to replace the motherboard on your Dell Latitude 7300? Well, I'm going to show you how. Also, you can click the top right of the screen to find this part or tools or additional help on our website, including written step-by-step -step tutorials with detailed images. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. All right, the first thing that you'll do is unscrew the bottom base cover. Then you can use a plastic scribe to pry open and separate the bottom base cover. To prevent static discharge, I recommend disconnecting your battery before moving any further. I also recommend sorting out your screws as you take apart your laptop. It'll make it that much easier during reassembly. Next, disconnect the CMOS battery. Now unscrew and remove the Wi-Fi bracket. Then disconnect the antenna cables and slide out the Wi-Fi card. Now disconnect the speakers. Next, unscrew and remove the solid state drive bracket. Now slide out the solid state drive. Now use your fingertips to separate the locking tabs. Once the memory sticks are unlocked, you can slide them out. Next, unscrew and remove the battery. Now unscrew and remove the bracket that secures the LCD cable. Then disconnect the LCD cables. Now unscrew and remove the DC jack bracket. Then disconnect the DC jack. Next, unscrew the wireless bracket and then disconnect the antenna cables. Now unclip the locking tab and disconnect the LED board. Next, unclip the locking tab and then disconnect the touchpad cable. Now unscrew the cooling fan. Now unscrew and disconnect the heatsink fan assembly. Now unscrew and remove the power button. The reassembly of your laptop is as simple as following your steps in reverse. Before replacing your heatsink, it's important to wipe away any old thermal paste from your CPU and heatsink. Note for maximum cooling of the processor, do not touch the heat transfer areas on the heatsink and CPU. The oils on your skin can reduce the heat transfer capability of the thermal paste. Then apply a small amount of thermal paste to the CPU before replacing your heatsink. If you still need help, you can visit partspeople.com and view printable DIY instructions to help you along the way. We also have playlists of thousands of Dell tutorials for hundreds of different models, so keep checking back. Thanks for watching.